Well, the next step in the brewing process, we're moving from the mill room to the brew house itself. The mill will grind the grist, and the grist is transferred via this auger into a grist hopper. Now, this brewery will use about 1,000 pounds, because it's a 20-barrel brewery, 1,000 pounds of grist, and that'll all spill into the mash kettle when we pull the slide, and there's an agitator inside of the mash kettle that'll mix the hot water with the grist, and it'll create what's called a sweet mash. It's kind of a porridge-like consistency. Um, what we do here at Gordon Beer so it's a little different, is we have the ability to do a series of temperature rises and rests. Uh, each enzyme works better at a different temperature. So rather than go in at one temperature and that kind of covers all bases, we're gonna be able to customize uh, the mashing process for each enzyme. And that just makes, it allows us to get more out of the malt and make for a very smooth flavored beer. Um, at the end of the, uh, the mashing process where the starches have been converted to sugars and we have that sweet wort, uh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna need to separate that sweet wort from the solids or the husks. So we're gonna pump that whole mass of mash over to the louder time. Now, on some brews, and it's kind of an old school thing, um, we'll do what's called a decoction. Now, on a decoction, you're actually boiling some of that mash, so we'll move over two-thirds of it, and we'll boil that last third of the mash, and then move that over to the louder ton, and that'll what, that's what will raise the temperature uh, for that style of beer and kill off the enzymes, and at that point, we're ready to start the, the Vorloff or clarification process and loudering back into the mash kettle.